What is up everybody? Welcome back to another karting video. Uh, I'm excited about today. This is my first time taking my go-kart out with my new Micron 5. I got the 5S 2T and I've been watching a lot of videos on this thing and I still feel like I know very little bit about it, just the basics. The reason I'm filming this video is even though there's a lot of videos about how to set up your Micron 5, I didn't see a single video about somebody going to the track and firing it up for the first time. And all, wow, are they even open? It's like nobody here. Um, so I'm gonna take you guys through that and let you experience what I experienced. Here we are, look at this, there's nobody here. It's 9.30, place opened at nine. It is pretty chilly out today. Maybe everybody's afraid of the cold. I'm not afraid, it's 50 something degrees. I'm from Southern California. Today we're at Apex. It's uh, one of the smaller tracks. It doesn't get a lot of go-karts. Gets a lot of supermoto guys. But, um, oh, this is crazy, dude. I've never been here and there's like not a single person here. Look at this. Oh, I see a motorcycle. Anyhow, let's get the go-kart unloaded and, and let's see what this Micron 5 is all about. Hey guys, real quick, I did want to mention that I started a YouTube channel called Cart Pilot, where I'm going to be putting all these karting videos. Um, right now I'm putting them on Moto Pilot and Cart Pilot. So if you're over at Moto Pilot watching this video and you're interested in karting videos, do me a favor, go over there, subscribe. Eventually all my karting videos will only be over there. And I wanted to give a shout out to my favorite karting YouTube channel. It's called Illegal Alien Racing. Um, they got a lot of videos over there for you to check out. You know, whether it's product reviews, ex explanations of all the different kind of carts, first time driving a shifter cart, which is probably how I found them in the first place. But uh, go check those guys out. They got a lot of dynamic content, so check them out. All right, guys, so here's my new setup. I got the Micron 5, and then I also bought the uh, Micron steering wheel. The cost on all this, you're looking at $699 for the Micron and another $200 for the steering wheel. So basically $900 bucks plus tax. So what I want to do here is I want to just turn it on. I believe this thing should turn on automatically when you start the card. My Micron 4 did. But on um, this one here, I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out. But what I want to do now is I just want to turn it on and see if the GPS finds this track. Uh, we are at Apex, so let's see what it does. Track search. I don't know if it searches automatically or if I gotta hit a button. All right, I didn't see it really do anything. So, I don't know. Did it find the track? Track search, I have to... Okay, there we go. So if I hit this button here, it actually searched for the track and then you can see right there, Apex. And you can see a little configuration of the track. So, very cool. It's a nice feature. So, let's just fire up the car and see what it does. Alright, I pulled the spark plug out and it was pretty wet, so I turned the cart over with the spark plug out. It seemed to be flooded, so let's give it a try. Once it gets warmed up, it'll start easy for the rest of the day. Um, what I'm curious about on this is, uh, you know, I know I'm going to get my RPM and I'm pretty sure I should be getting my lap times. What I'd like to see while I'm driving is I think I want to see miles per hour and maybe what gear I'm in. So I don't know if those will kick on as I'm driving. Um, we'll find out. Check it out, you guys. I'm the only one out here and this guy's blowing the track just for me. How awesome is that? <laughs> Give them a thumbs up. That's the first time I've seen them blow the track here. Also, check this out. 
couple lots down there's uh this is like a complex area there's a rc track right here uh well there's a bmx track right there then an rc car track then a big scale race car track oval and then a motocross track way down at the end there you can hear them rapping but uh right here every time i come here in this lot there's a group of about 10 guys 10 people learning how to ride motorcycles for the first time and I think that's just so cool to see more and more people getting into bikes, you know? Yep, still nobody here. Just me. Oh boy. It's always nice to have someone here to chase after, you know? This is probably going to be a little bit boring. Now the thing I want to see is if the Micron 5 kicks on when I fire up the cart. Yep, there it goes.
right, so between sessions, let's take a look at this thing. And so I want to hit the on button. Give it a brief second, it kicks on. MDG, that's who I bought it from. You can customize your logo in there apparently. But uh, you can see here, it still has the track registered. Cool. That's the temperature of my motor right now. It's 59 degrees outside, Fahrenheit. See the track right there. GPS, good. Hope you can see all that with these reflections. Um, let's come down here. So if I want to go in and review what I've done so far, I'm kind of winging it here, so bear with me. I'm going to hit menu. No, I don't think that's where I want to be. Let's exit from there. Um, memory? Let's go to memory. There we go. So you see my, fir my fastest three lap times. 9, 10, and 11, 43, 56 is my best. And you can see here the RPM got as high as 13,980. Wow, dude, that's, that's so high. I'm really shocked by this speed. Maximum speed, 77.2 miles an hour. Damn, that's ripping. Because, you know, the straightaway here is not that long. So that's pretty good. And this is what I'm really going to keep an eye on trying to get these down. I think my fastest lap time here that I registered before was somewhere in the 44s, close to 44. So, but that was with new tires. These tires, they're pretty much gone and I'm really pushing the car to its limit. So I'm gonna see if I can get that down, but I really love this thing. I love that it shows, well, you know, it was weird. Like when you first start the car up, it doesn't give you everything. It gives you like RPMs and temperature. Then when I started driving, you could see it showed me what gear I'm in, how fast I was going, all that good stuff. So this thing is pretty amazing.